Hello and welcome to Sky World. U.S. troops in Niger have been restricted to the American military bases and U.S. Embassy in Niger, as the Biden administration works to restore democratically elected President Mohamed Bazoum to power. A U.S. military official said the approximately 1,000 troops were retrograded back to base last week, shortly after Bazoum was seized by members of the Presidential Guard on Wednesday. Another U.S. official confirmed the troops are restricted to the bases and the embassy, but said all of the forces were already at their respective stations when the attempted coup occurred. The U.S. has not yet formally decided if the situation constitutes a coup, a designation that would require the U.S. to cut foreign and military assistance to the Nigerian government which could have serious consequences for the fight against terrorism and stability in the region. There is no time frame in which the U.S. is required to make a coup designation. We're working really, really hard to see if we can turn this around, said a senior State Department official on Monday. Since the situation is not yet set and concrete, we think we should try and take that opportunity. On Thursday, the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff General Mark Milley spoke with his counterpart in Niger. The two leaders discussed the safety of Americans and the developing situation in Niger, Colonel Dave Butler said in a statement Monday.